How's everyone doing? I'm going to do a Halloween decoration uh, overview tour of my Halloween decorations. Um, before I take them all down, I figured I would do a video for it. I've had some people actually ask. So let's go ahead and do it. Halloween decoration time. Let me know what you think of my decorations and which one is your favorite in my collection and what is your favorite Halloween decoration that you have. All right, here we go. First up are some ones from the Dollar Tree. These little chain spikes right here with bats and then spiders. I posted a picture on my uh, Absolute Sublime One Facebook, Instagram, and even on here on the like, community section of me putting these in. A bunch of these. I should have gotten more of them. Again, there were a dollar a piece for each one of these ones, and uh, you know I could have wrapped them all the way around. But I think it looks cool like that. And then I've got this scarecrow guy, which I've had for a while, right there. And let's go ahead and jump over here. We've got a couple more little scarecrow guys right there, and. I've got some light up ones. Obviously it's light out right now, so you can't really see them quite as well. But there's a jack-o'-lantern and then there is a spider web. See that? I actually do have them lit up right now, but you can't even tell. And in the window right here, we've got Witch's Way, a little sign. And uh, pumpkin, I didn't carve a jack-o'-lantern this year, but I am gonna roast the pumpkin seeds. I do that every year. And let's enter. And first up, you've got uh, spider webs right there, which I got these spider webs from Spirit Halloween. So they're a little bit more expensive, but they're actually better quality than you would get at the Dollar Tree on the banister. And then there's one of these skeleton ghost ghoul kind of guys right here hanging. And here is a little sticker in the bathroom. I don't know how much longer this is going to have uh, usage-wise. I've had it for a while. And let's go ahead and turn on the light in the bathroom. And I love this. This is one of my favorite ones. It's a skeleton taking a poop right there and reading the newspaper. I love it. And then we've got one of these like fabric skull guys. And I did put a little Halloween towel in right there, washcloth. But that is one of my favorites. I love that expression too. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you caught me. And I've got a couple of these standing guys I got at a yard sale. I think these are pretty cool. Um, they're a little, some of them are taller. That one's the, I think the shortest one. But there, some of them are like waist high. And then this jack lantern right here, which has a light in it. Again, if it was darker, you'd be able to see it a little bit better. This uh, Frankenstein's monster guy holding a little teddy bear. And you've got all kinds of like rats and spiders and eyeballs in here, which I think is pretty cool. And then a little snow globe. And one of these blow up ones right here, Jack Lantern, which I got with these ones at a yard sale. Blew these up and hung them from upstairs. So you can walk through and see them. And then we've got Enter If You Dare, a little sparkly one, some skulls. It's like, where am I gonna put a lot of this stuff? So I just kind of did it like that. And you got the, the different pumpkins and stuff and the corn and then a little fabric spider guy. And we've got this bird skeleton guy up here watching over everything. And then one of these ones right here, turn on the light, get better view. These like trick or treat guys. And then there's another one over here in the corner. You can see that right there, the devil one. And then you got one of these like Sugar Skull, Day of the Dead, Dias de Muerte. And a skeleton cat, a bag of you know skeleton heads right there. This is supposed to put like a little candle in there, but I think that just looks cool as is. And there's a better view of the little devil trick-or-treater guy. And we've got a couple little pumpkins, little decorations like that over by the TV, more snow globes, little sparkly one, little guys that hang off there, a witch one, a mummy one, another snow globe. We've got a random bloody foot right there. We've got some more little hanging guys. And then this one that lights up, which I think looks awesome. Absolutely love that one. 
some more hanging guys, a lenticular picture frame, which I think looks awesome. And this Frankenstein's monster head, again, that lights up. These ones are ceramic, really heavy, but they look awesome. Some sparkly owls, this sparkly skeleton right there. And we've got this skeleton head, which had shooter uh, shot glasses in there, which I don't know where those went to, but it just looks cool like that too. I got that at um, Spirit Halloween. This sparkly jack-o'-lantern. And we've got some fall motif like a pumpkin placemat. And then these flowers right here with spider webs and then little spider rings in there, which I think is pretty cool. And then we've got this Medusa one, which again, because of the light, you can't really tell, but it is uh, has a light in there. That Medusa's head right there and pile of skeleton bones, another one of those lenticular picture frames, which again, I, these are usually inexpensive. I've seen them at Spirit Halloween. I've also seen them at Dollar Tree. There's better ones, uh, bigger ones and stuff like that, but those are really cool. Uh, bird skeleton, these ceramic ones, which I showed before in a video a long time ago. They're, they're, they're very weighty, um, but I got these at like an antique store for really cheap. And this little guy, and then another one of these you can see the changing colors in this one giant like skull one, like the minted skull one. I think that was really cool. And this bat. And then over here I have some stuff. Uh, I did a uh, gelatin mold. I had a um, Halloween party and I thought that was pretty cool. I already ate up the jello, but you know, gelatin brain mold. And then some glasses. Right there. And then some uh, like ceramic painting things in there, and a little basket. And these I got for like, I think a dollar at my uh, local stop and shop grocery store. And I get some leftover chips and stuff from the party. And just a few more things to show. I don't have a ton. Oh, you know, what? I completely messed these ones. These ones are awesome. <laughs> I got this at the Dollar Tree years ago. My uh, Wolfman hanging guy right there. Kind of doing a little thriller dance. And then this lenticular picture frame right there. I love those lenticular picture frames. And oh, I love this creepy carry. I guess it's called a timeout doll. I uh, got this at a uh, yard sale for I think five bucks. I think it's so creepy and awesome. It freaks me the heck out. And it freaks most people out too. I love it. Look at that ratty hair. I got that little guy hanging out there too. And into the kitchen, just a few more decorations. A little hanging pumpkin guy. And all these Halloween masks. I forgot about these guys. Right there, they light up. And then another one of these lenticular picture frames. Some blood splatter right there on the fridge. And a couple of these little decorations too. And this awesome towel right here, which is very Halloween-esque with the pumpkin and then the skull. And I've got the skull ice cube tray, which I'm just gonna dump these, but there you go. I think they look pretty cool. For the Halloween party, you put them in drinks. The little owl guy, and that's pretty much everything. I do have, uh, let me show you one more couple things that I forgot. This. This thing right here, which I think needs batteries. I think it lights up too, but no batteries in it right now. And then another one of these hanging skeleton ghoul guys and another one of these uh, mask things, which I'm pretty sure I got these at the Dollar Tree too. But I think they're pretty cool. And then there's more like blood splatter, like if you can see it right there, another window. Yeah, a couple little blood splatter things like everywhere, these little gel ones. So that is pretty much everything right there. Uh, I don't have a ton of, I know some people have just a ton of stuff. I want to get some of the standing guys, but uh, I like my decorations that I have so far. I definitely want to add to it. I try to add to it every year, add a couple different things. Um, you know, I've been living out my own for a few years now, but I definitely want to get some of the standing guys like the Michael Myers and uh, Jason Voorhees one stuff like that. I've seen a Penhead one before too. Those ones go for a lot of money. Uh, some of the animatronic ones are cool, but there you go. Those are my Halloween decorations.
All right, I figured I'd go ahead and turn the lights off and show you the light up Halloween decorations uh, in the dark, although there is a lot of natural light coming in. So you don't fully get the whole light up uh, appeal of these decorations, but it's better than it was with the lights on. So there you go, there's the creepy jack lantern guy. And here is the Frankenstein's monster head right there. Big gash in his head, all the bolts. I think that one looks pretty awesome with the red, kind of a reddish orange really. And then that guy, which is kind of an iconic one. I got that at a uh, flea market, which I did a video for years ago on my channel. And then, oh, the lights just, I swear the lights were on and went off. Uh, maybe the batteries might have died on this one. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, and this Medusa one, I think, looks really cool, but it's not picking up really on uh, the camera. And this one, too. I like how this one actually changes the color. And then there's only one other one that has the light up one. And then, of course, I have the ones outside, too, but it's uh, still light out right now. Oh, look at that. It looks like it was going off and on. I dig it. So there you go. Those are all of the Halloween decorations with the lights out, although there's still a lot of natural light coming in, so you don't get the full effect of it. But still, you know, give you an idea a little bit more than when the lights were on. So there you go. Those are my Halloween decorations. Let me know what you think of them. Uh, how was your Halloween? Uh, what horror movies did you see? And let me know what your favorite Halloween decoration of mine is that I showed in this video, and what Halloween decoration uh, is on your wish list, the one that you want the most that you don't have yet. And let me know what your favorite Halloween decoration is in your collection. And uh, let me know what you think of this video. And hope you guys are doing well and enjoy this Halloween decoration video. Take care.